So today we're going to have a little look at some impact alignments and predominantly stopping the ball curving too far to the left and that's where we're going to use this little bit of wood, a 4x2 would help you. And what we want to try and do is obviously to appreciate that at point of contact, if I just put my golf club up against this straight edge, you'll see the leading edge of the club is really square up against it. Now, if the ball's curving left, then we know that by contact, the toe end of the club is beating the heel into the golf ball. So just a way of rehearsing this, make a little back swing, just swing to club level with the ground, come down and just put the club flat up against the back edge of this 4x2 down here. And that's going to help you, number one, get an idea of what a square face looks like. Number two, it's going to give you a little bit of shaft lean, weights going on to that left side. And there are two things that are going to help prevent that club face from closing, pointing to the left too early. And we can also do to encourage then a little bit of body rotation through the hit as well. Same thing, just back to club level, run it into the, the bit of wood there, handle forward, feel the weight forward, and then just push it forward with a little bit of chest rotation because of course if we just keep the rib cage moving through the ball that'll encourage the handle just to stay forward of that club head and to help prevent that club face from closing too quickly so just a drill really and a, and a feel for you but club level run it into the the bit of wood again at this point handle slightly forward weight slightly forward and then just slide the the bit of wood along the ground and that'll give you that nice sense of the rib cage moving through the ball. Nick can hit a few shots and I would just hit some little short ones, just again swinging back to sort of club level, come through and hold it at that sort of point, feel the rib cage is kept moving. And just feeling that the handle staying somewhat forward of the club head, not sensing there's a huge amount of rotation in that club face if the one to the left is something that you tend to suffer with. You get that nicer feeling there through the ball. So have a little go with that, it's gonna help prevent that over curve to the left.